okay, I'm here, and I see people there. Um, hello everybody, we're gonna play some, I'm sorry, I'm getting all situated. We're gonna play some Smash tonight, and I am really, really rusty. Uh, let me just make sure all of my... Hello Don Hart, I see your chat, so I'm glad you can see me. Um, hopefully my volumes are good. Nate, thank you for the follow. I see you here in my arena. Lilith is ready to go. Um, oh, thank you for the reminder, Lilith. And hey, Nate. So I am going to communicate with you guys through Steam chat because it's going to be a lot easier. Or stream chat because it's going to be a lot easier for me than uh, talking through Discord and stuff. Um, so if you want to say anything to me, please feel free to just text it into the chat. Hi, Risaru. You're not following my rules. And hey, K-West. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think hopefully Lilith mentioned you, K-West, that I'm going to be talking mainly through here, just so you guys don't get an echo. Um, trying to get Featherlin in. Alright, looks like you guys are getting started. That's fine. No, go ahead! I'm trying to situate Featherlin, but if we don't get him situated out shortly, I'm not gonna wait too long just because it's boring to watch a screen with nothing on it. So I'm gonna pick my character real quick. You guys get a really, really big advantage because you can see me picking my character. Um, I will say though, uh, fun quirk about me, I start every match as Lucina. Every single match. Or every single session. Risaru, you can change tokens. It's in the options. Not um not when you're in an arena, but um before you join an online session, you can change your token. But if Lilith and Ja want to get started with the first fight, feel free. I will wait patiently. But go ahead and get started with that fight, you two. There we go. You both have very good taste in ladies. I approve of both of them. Oh, there you go. Welcome, Feather. Oh, can I not? Uh, where's the... Is there a way to preview the fight? I need to preview the fight. I need to be able to see the fight. Uh, da, 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 da. Shoot. I should have thought about that before I open this up. Change music, player list. Mm. Oh, spectator stands. That's where I need to go. Okay, yeah, because it would be boring to sit and watch two icons. I will spectate the next battle. Oh, man. This is a great start. Oh, boy. Oh, I apologize. Okay. Well, I'll know that from the next fun because I'm a boo-boo. Don't leave, people. Please keep watching. I promise it won't happen again. Ugh. Good streamer is good. I, I really apologize for that. Well, we will just throw myself in the waiting area and I'll just fight whoever's next. That way I know I'll be right. Can you tell that I haven't played this game in a while? I feel bad. Rooting for Zelda just on principle. Nate, it's tough because I like both of those ladies in there. Play as Little Mac. Prospect, I will for you, but I won't for the first fight. Because you know I always play Lucina in the first match of any session. I'm sure it was a wonderful fight. I'm sorry I didn't see it. I'll be ready for this next one.
So go ahead and get in the waiting area, everyone, if you want to fight. Because um, it'll just pick the next person in line. Uh, winner gets knocked out, loser gets to stay in. But I would say if the loser stays in for a couple matches to graciously back out so that the same person isn't playing over and over again. All right, Lilith, let's go. I'm ready. And I'm not really, though. I uh, haven't warmed up at all. There is uh, no hard feelings for anything that happens, by the way. Um, most of my close friends know that my little brother is in the top 10 smashers of uh, Pennsylvania. Um, so the only person I have played with on a regular basis is super good at this game. And because of that, I am decent myself just because I have to survive against someone who can never play lightly. Um, if people don't like the one-on-one, -on -one, we can move to the casual four player at one point. But, I thought one-on-one -on -one would be a fun way to start. This is all casual one-on-one -on -one anyway. Now I have to try to pay attention to the screen, but also not s stop talking. It's good practice. Nope. Oh, 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 There we go! Okay. Alright, well, if I am one, one hit from being destroyed, you got it. I bet, uh, Nate in chat here is sitting here just laughing. Laughing. He and I have... A lot of smashing under our belts together. I see where DJ gets his counters from. You know, I countered like three times, Nate. Calm down. I'm also playing a character that has a counter, and you know it's a completely viable option. And you need to get over the fact that we play counters! Alright. Hi, John Honored! No, thanks. It's kind of like ventriloquism. Um, sure, let's go with that. I just, yeah, I need to think of things for my dummy to say. That's what it is. Good fight, Lilith. Thank you for playing. I'll remember to spectate this time. All right. So, um, Lilith, let's have. Lilith, why don't you back out so someone else can play? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll back out because I won. And we'll let this battle go. Nate versus Ja. Just don't tell my girlfriend about the smashing. Well, oh. Alright, Nate. I guess it's you and me already. Let's go. I'm going to change my fighter. I know, I'm scared, John. I'm, I'm hiding on purpose. It's because I get stage fright. No, I, I, um, I'm still working on a more appropriate setup in my apartment here. Um, because my lighting is atrocious, that's the big problem. And where I had it last time I streamed, you could see more of my face, but it was all shadowy. Oh, please tell me I can spectate. Please don't tell me it was too late. Dang it! I keep messing that up. Ugh! People don't want to watch a no screen. Well, yeah, so my setup. Um, my lighting is horrible in my room, and I have to get something that works better, because I can move it. We'll move it. There 
There, now you can see more of my face, but the lighting is like right there. So hopefully, let me see, can I move it so that, no, because then it's out of frame. So, there, more of my face, but bad lighting. I try. I have, um, I have a really ghetto setup here in that, uh, my laptop isn't strong enough to, to stream very well. It drops a ton of frames. So I'm using my desktop PC. Um, but since, you know, this is a console game, I have a TV just sitting on the floor in the side of my bedroom um, with my Switch crudely attached. I have to work out in rotation on this so I am not stuck just watching the the arena here with two combatants. All right. That's right, John. Thank you. I want to share myself with the world um even if it is mediocre at best. There we go. Now, now we can see. So I think everyone who's in the lobby with me, I think what will work best is if you back out of the lineup when it's my turn to fight so I can move right from spectating to the arena so that I don't have another misstep where uh, people don't get to watch because I didn't get to the spectating stands in time. Well, don't worry, Nate. No one saw it because I didn't get to the spectating stands in time. Zach, I didn't see you sneakily slide into the lobby here. Also, Zach, um... Were you the one when we were playing before that was having the internet issues? I'm just curious if this is your fault. Not to blame you or anything. Hi, Prospect. Yes, my beautiful face. The one that, as I explained last week on stream, uh, is currently in the middle of breaking out horribly because I have a convention coming up in a couple days. And it's like my, my acne knows it. Every single time, like five days out on the dot, no matter what, no matter what convention, my body is just like, hey, acne sounds like a great idea, right? You're in your mid-twenties, let's do that acne thing again. <sighs> oh, it's not our Zack. It's a different Zack. Hello, other Zack. Feather, are you okay? Why are you, um, self-destructing? Everything good? Did something happen that I missed? Someone? Oh, uh, okay. All right, that's fair. That's fair. Well, now you have time to. Um, all right, so for the next one after uh, Feather and uh, Jaw or whomever. Oh, he didn't have the internet issues. Oh, okay. Thank you, Risa. Um After this fight here, uh, if we can clear the waiting area so I can move in to the arena. Oh, or I can do that now, actually. I'll fight you, command comrade. I'm ready to go. So another fun fact about me. Risuru, is everything okay? Saying hello? Fun fact about me um, is that I 
play about like eight uh, characters. I don't stick to just one. Um, Zelda is my number, my top main, but I play. Uh, yeah, at least six characters. Cloud is one of them. Um, don't judge me. Oh. I'm also really happy that Ja is playing Palutena because I want to get better at Palutena. Um, because she is a beautiful and um, I play her really well when I'm drunk, but not when I'm sober and I want to change that. Also, this is the first time I've gotten to play the new Smash with my GameCube controller because I didn't have my controller with me over the holiday break when I got the game and I was back home, so I was stuck using the Joy-Cons. Gave that to him. And I gave that too! <laughs> yup, okay. Oh boy. Nope. Nope. I just want to take one. I just want to take one. Just want to take one. Cool. Okay. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, good job, Ja. Good job. Is the explosive flare new? It is, uh, Nate. They took away her um, her projectile shield, and she now has uh, that explosion at distance, and it's a much better move. All right, Ja. Good on ya. I'm gonna stay in another round, if you guys don't mind. I'm gonna switch characters uh, and come right back. Unless y'all started. Okay, y'all started. Which means I'm not gonna get spectated. Alright. So yeah, um, anyone, if we can list, if you can hear me, we gotta, we gotta work on the, the lineup just a little bit so that I don't keep missing battles that I'm not in. Because it's kind of boring not to be able to see them. Um, so if you guys are in the, if you guys are in the arena, but you don't see me sitting in the spectating stands, don't start the fight yet. Oh. Did something just happened to my arena? got booted, huh? Well, hopefully that was just a weird little fluke. Why is Lilith invisible? I, I, I don't know. Well, Lilith is visible for us. Um, whoever, who is she fighting? They're invisible for me. Should work this time. Alright, 
I'm good to spectate. You guys are good to go whenever. Whenever you two are ready. ready? There we go. Cool. I'll work on my uh, commentating. I'll work on my, uh, Three, two, my, my torny commentating. Um, or I can just badmouth Nate without him knowing. Except you can hear me. I'm kidding, Nate. You know I love you. Back in uh, back in my undergrad, um, the university that Nate and I went to, they during pretty much any time school was in session, so anything but breaks, uh, campus like buildings were. Uh, campus buildings were pretty much left on lock, unlocked, uh, pretty much all day. Um, so, Nate, uh, Risuru, uh, even Z Z Zygodactyl and I got a big group of friends, uh, that we started doing games, uh, in one of the buildings, uh, usually on Friday nights every week, um, because we could use the big projectors and have a nice big lecture hall to play them in. Uh, we had many a smash night there on projector screens and order like pizza and wings, get them delivered to the buildings, um, and the podiums that the projectors were connected to had like a passcode that you had to use in order to turn them on. Um, but one of uh, one of the other people in our group found the code out and found out that when they update them every semester they update them using the same uh pattern for the code so we could always get in which was awesome i think it was uh it was the name of the term so it was either fall or spring and then the current academic year and it always was So, Ja, I'm gonna have to ask um, if you've ever participated in any tournaments uh, when you have a second to answer. I'm curious. Because you're really good. Nice game, gentlemen. a good color too for Corin. All right. Good match everybody. All right, so I'm going to request it now that after Zack and Lilith play, um if I could jump in the arena um, just establishing it now so that I can jump from the stands to the arena so we don't miss anything. That'd be great. Thank you, everybody. Nate, you're fine. You judge yourself way too hard. So I gotta ask Zach if you've become the Kirby main that you've always dreamed of becoming.
It's okay, Nate. I don't think many of us have taken a stock off of Jaw yet. I only took one. Myself. Oh, Jaw's teaching me that I can watch from the waiting area. Look at me not knowing how to play this game at all. So yeah, I think to play fair, most fair, we'll do a couple rounds of uh, floor four player smash after a little while, because I'm sure not everyone necessarily wants to stick to one-on-ones and have some fun goofy times. Cool, yeah, I can spectate from the waiting area. I did not know that. Now I do. Now I won't have to be like, hey, let me in. I'll just jump in. As you've all seen for probably the past 10 minutes, I'm playing Peach next. Three, two, one, go! Nate, what, uh, what more annoying character are you thinking of? Because there was a point in Smash 4 where your Link was very annoying, and you know exactly why. He likes projectiles. He got mad at me for countering, and I got mad at him for projectiles, and no one was happy ever. Another fun thing we like to do at those uh, Smash Nights, um, I don't know if people remember, but Bayonetta, when you had uh, eight players, like the full eight player Smash, Bayonetta would uh, lag the game really hard. Um, so we'd pick eight Bayonetta and watch my Wii U slowly combust. We tried so hard. That system tried so hard. It was like the little brother that wanted to prove it was as good as the Wii. And in and in, in uh, my opinion, I liked the Wii U better. Um, but it, you know, had nowhere near the impact the Wii did on the gaming uh, environment as a whole. And I feel like Nintendo kind of really only used it to tide us over for what what then became the Switch. Um, unfortunately, I don't think they ever really planned for the Wii U to to be a long-lived system. It seemed very awkwardly placed. There should be a rule on using the same character twice. Okay, I would I would say if I was being more strict on the rules, um, that would be fair. Uh, but, you know, as I tried to make it very clear, this is all for fun, so, you know, just don't be rude about it, other fighters, that's all. I change characters pretty much all the time just because I get tired of playing the same person. I like variety, but I know people have you know, their mains and who they like to play, and there's nothing wrong with that. No! Oh, well, Ja, welcome. Now I can see you on here and I don't have to keep switching back. Thank you for the help on uh, the waiting list situation, Ja, so that I don't have to keep trying to coordinate when I'm jumping into the arena itself.
Where's that down special tech, Kirby? Where's the down special tech? The ultimate smash. I'm just trying to get him to kill himself. Oh, I know, Ja. It's it's just the that's the streamer's curse. Um, is dealing with the the delay in in what I say and what you guys hear see. Um, so I appreciate you coming in and trying. Um, I think I have two mains and then three characters I need to work on. Are you gonna divulge what those characters are, Nate? Or are you gonna stay secretive? Um, I didn't ever go through my list because I've been talking about like eight different things at once uh so as i started to say when jaw very soundly beat me as cloud um no worries jaw no worries on the the character change do what you want like i said we'll play one-on-ones for a while and then we'll switch to four player with items and everything so that we can have some fun times um my characters uh Zelda is my number one, um, followed by Wii Fit Trainer, actually. Then Princess Peach, uh, who's four. Probably Cloud? Yeah, yeah, I'd say Cloud. Uh, and then I like to play Lucina, like I said, for my first match every session. Uh, and I love playing Bowser, because Bowser is just fun. And Ganondorf now! Because Ganondorf is incredible in this iteration of Smash. He is so much fun to play. Well, the three I need to work on are Roy, Chrome, and good old Cap. I think you mean Chrome. All right, comrade, let's go again. I appreciate your choice of character. It wasn't the color I would have chosen. But beggars can't be choosers. What did they do to Ganon in this version? Well, uh, Prospect, the whole game itself is just a lot faster. Um, so all the tanky, slow characters really, really um, benefited from that. Because they, they just move a lot quicker. Um, so Ganondorf is a lot faster than he was. Um, and his smash attacks, he uses his sword now versus just his hands. So his reach is a little better. Um... And he just, he just he, he, that combination of things has made him feel a lot just more solid and uh, viable and just powerful. He is just so powerful. Ay, ay, ay. And I'm dead because I was facing the wrong way. Yeah, comrade, it's definitely like fighting my little brother when I'm fighting you. Ugh, uh. Um, yeah, Zelda's my main, but I don't play her that well. Um, this is where I get real quiet because I'm focusing. I apologize. And I KO'd myself again. All right. Good, good match. Good match. It's all right, Ja. This is why we do it. We gotta practice. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't want to pretend like I'm good at video games at all. Just gotta wait for my system to figure myself out here. I hate those slow parathenol deaths. I know, I kind of, you know, it's kind of fun at the same time, though, because it's that, uh, coming to terms with your fate. 
and just accepting the reality of what is happening before you. I will ask for people who are in the rotation of fighting that if you wouldn't mind maybe pulling yourself out once or twice so that we're not doing the same matchups of people, that would be cool. Um, totally not because I just don't want to get my butt handed me by Ja again, but it's partly because I don't want to get my butt handed to me by Ja again. No. Um, no, I just want everyone to be able to fight other fighters instead of just fighting the same uh, person. Well, Ja, it wasn't so much an SD in that regard, just because it was my it was my error. Um, you know, I wasn't purposely killing myself to kill myself. I had messed up and I missed the ledge, and that's still your kill and that's your win. That's why I just accepted it and went down. I will never purposely SD myself because I think it's one of those courtesies that even if you're completely outmatched by somebody, um, you just play through because uh, they're just here to play too. Um, I know it's in a competitive game, tensions run high and it's sometimes hard to, you know, obviously not get upset. Um, but at the end of the day, you know. You know what they say, it's just a game. And it's all about having fun. And the people who are, you know, maybe uh, echelon above you, um, are just still trying to have fun themselves. And it's not fair to them if they are just better. In this house, we have good sportsmanship. Exactly, Risuru. You know, the whole reason I made the Discord that most of you are members of anyway, uh, is because I very much about good sportsmanship. and. Even in competitive environments, you can have good sportsmanship. Um, you know, that's why I still play with my brother, even though he will beat me 99 times out of 100. Once in a while, I get one of those wins and I do gloat a little bit, but that's just sibling rivalry. Nate, how do you feel about the new uh, Young Link? Because they changed him a little bit too. I actually really like how he feels personally. I like him better than Link is now. Um, I like that the new Link, they they differentiated him from the rest of the Links. Um, and I think the Breath of the Wild version they came up with is really cool, but his fighting style doesn't, his like new changes don't really fit with how I played Link. Um, and yeah, not really how you played Link either, Nate. Um, so I definitely, I've, I've been attracted to Young Link's uh, skill set more since Smash 5 came out. Well, Nate, I don't think uh, regular Link is going to get too beat up on, on, on it if you are uh, using a different Link. In this house, we support, we support all Links. So, I don't know if anyone here who is watching, or playing, uh, has noticed with the, the World of Light mode in the new Smash, the story mode, uh, that some of the computers are actually pretty good. Um, and according to the internet, uh, Wolf, the Wolf fight, uh, he is one of the strongest uh, NPCs. Um, he, he self-destructed when I fought him. I beat him in the first round, like first try, because he, he he tried to go out for a, uh, I think he was going for a spike or something. He was going out for an aerial attack and he missed and he wasn't able to recover from there. Um, 
So I beat him pretty easily through fault of his. Um, but man, some of those other fights were tough. And I'm, I don't even mean the gimmicky ones that were just really stacked against you. Some of the actual character fights were decently tough for me. Um, I lost to Lucario, I think, three times before I ended up getting him as a character. Yeah, World of Light can just go away. I... I wasn't expecting what we got from World of Light, honestly. Um... In the end, I liked it, and I liked how long it was, because I wasn't expecting that, that mode to last that long. Um, I mean, granted, by the end, I was like, okay, this can end. But the fact that they put that much content into it was pretty awesome. Um, I think one of the biggest issues of it is that it wasn't Subspace Emissary. Um, and, like, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it was a still cool mode. But I think everyone had this idea of what they wanted in their, their Smash Story Mode return. Um, and that was just an, an extension of the Subspace Emissary and how things worked on that. Um, so I think having World of Light the way it was was a little bit of a turnoff for people. Because it wasn't what they got. And... I would say that I was kind of upset the fact that uh, we only had like three cutscenes in the entire story mode. You know, the beginning, and then the ending, and then a different ending if you do something different. Like that was it. I won't, I won't spoil anything, Nate. But it's you know, it's the same as the first board you're on. It's like several boards, you know, where you go to light dot to light dot and do a fight. That was a close one, you two. Good fight. A lot of you. Think I'm next? I am next. I really like this, uh, this Smash's theme, though. The World of Light theme is really good. And I like this lobby version of it with the acoustic guitar. All right, Zach, I've been studying your Kirby. It's not going to help me win at all, but I've been watching your Kirby. Three, two, one, go! Also, Feather, I think, Featherline, are you Cassidy in the chat? Because I totally just read that you were the one talking about the parasol death, and I apologize. Um, you and uh, Ja, your color came up, like, your name color came up the same, and I looked at it quickly and thought it was the same person. Um, so I apologize on that. Oh, Kirby. The real hero of World of Light. Oh, Kirby. No, no, Kirby. No, no, Kirby. Nope! Soccer ball! I have a little bit of latency that's kind of throwing me. Not an excuse, just a statement of fact. just enough to be noticeable. I think this is the first time I've really played this online. Most of the time I am local. Come on, bring your shield! I'm still not dead. I am still not dead. Well, now I'm dead. Okay. Bye, Kirby. I also went into this cold. I booted up, like, the, t the stream and just booted up my system and made sure the lobby was live. That was a mean little combo you had there on me.
Nope. I walked into that one. No, 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 no. I want you guys to know that that is also not me filling dead air. That is how I play Smash. <laughs> Just shout no as many times as I can. And just grunts of frustration. Still not gonna get me with that. Not today. Not today. Not today. No, no. Shoot. Ah. All right. Oh, don't mess that up. No. I know when I leave myself open, too. You know, it's one of those things, like, I do the thing that's really easily read, and you know it's coming, and I know that I'm doing it too! I'm like, oh, that's what I shouldn't do, and that's then what I do. I defy myself, I'm rebellious to myself. My brain is a rebellious teenager against itself. Zach, what happened there? Remarkably less cursing than normal. Now, let's well, Nate, I'm I'm working on that actually. I, I, I I'm trying not to uh, I'm trying not to curse as much in general. Hi, Arma. Welcome. I will step out and step in line. I think it's time to bring in my girl. I was really close, though, uh, to to letting out uh, a, a, an obscenity, uh, Nate, in that one. That shoot was very, very close. All right, I'm gonna let this match start. I uh, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick, so I'm gonna back out. Uh, so enjoy this fight. Did I trade cell numbers and the like with you? I don't know if you did, Arma. Um. DM me in Discord. We can work that out. Um, Three, two, one, go! I will establish now that Arma and I are actual, like, we've met several times IRL, and that's why it's okay. Um, not that I don't want to be friends with everybody, but for the sake of my professional life, I don't just give out my phone number willy-nilly. I'm gonna run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Remember to wash your hands, everybody. It is flu season. And the appropriate thing to do. Prospect, I, um... 
I don't know if you're still in the lobby and watching, um, but this is my reminder for you to finally buy a Switch. I know you're just lying to yourself at this point. I'll tell your girlfriend that you guys need to get one too, if that's what it takes. Good, I'm calling you out, Prospect. I will! Yeah! You know I will! I'm sure she would help me with that, too. <laughs> well, I done goofed. You're learning though, Nate. You're learning. The new air dodge thing though. I, you know? Ready? The new dodge thing? Sorry, I was looking at something while I was thinking. Um, I like it a lot. I mean, I'm still not used to it too, and it throws me off. But I really like that you can't just infinitely air dodge, because uh, it, it adds a new level of strategy. Prospect, the thing is, Every person who has more than any, even even newer gamers, because I know you're not nearly as uh, invested in gaming as like me, but anyone with a gaming system knows that there will be a time when they have games that they own that they have never opened. I have the complete Resistance series on PS3. I have one, two, and three and I have only opened one. I have never played two or three. I have God of War three, that has been unopened. Um, it's just, it's the nature of gaming. But, I will frame it to your girlfriend, and you can frame her to her too, that the Switch is a family system, and she would benefit from it just as much as you would. Okay, Wes, are you saying you've played every game that you've bought? Because that's honestly impressive. I've gone through that method. Is she the one holding you back, Prospect? Oh, okay. Well, maybe if she hears it from the, the friend that she hasn't met yet and still wants to be on good terms with, maybe she'll listen to me then. I'll use that tactic. I think she would. All right, I've got a plan. But the new air dodge, and my feelings on it, because I'm really bad at keeping one train of thought. Uh, I really like it, because before you could just spam air dodge, and of course there's still a window between each of them. Um, but the fact that you really only get one, and you can't do much after it, um, really makes it like, it is a save. To, for saves sake you need to save you need to dodge that one big hit that's gonna smash you out out the ring and I like that a lot because you have to you have to have more wits about you in general I'm impressed K West apart from what you're currently playing and, and PS plus games I'm impressed I uh I'll have to do like a Twitch live or something where I just show all the games that I have that I've never played. Because it's more than I'd care to admit. I also have a bunch of downloaded games that I got for free that I haven't touched. Is it my turn? No, it's Feather's turn.
Ah, oh, that's the best inkling. Good choice, Featherlin. That's my favorite inkling color. I like purple. Oh boy, I am out of practice. I also like a lot of the neutral specials. Um, have these really fast animations. Or neutral, I guess, neutral smash. Uh, neutral A. I think it's kind of fun. I think it's goofy how fast they are. They're cartoony. I don't like that. Oh, 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 get up, get up! <laughs> I'm really sorry, Featherland. <laughs> I always feel really bad when I get the spikes. They're really fun to do, though. Charizard's my absolute favorite with his kick. Ooh. <laughs> nice, nice move, Feather. I need to use my neutral B more often. Sneeze now. I'm close to it. I was just having a conversation with someone about that recently. Um, uh, one of the worst feelings in the world is when you have a sneeze coming and you acknowledge it, and so then you don't sneeze and you just have spicy nose for like a good minute. At least that's what I equate it to. Oh, it's like having wasabi up your nose. get very, uh, scared when I have high percent, and then I just hide the works. Ooh, this is a very high percentage stock. Sneeze is just sitting. Yep. Oh, that's yep, that's gonna kill me. Oh no, no, I can I can mess up my recovery. Don't worry. That, I love that has a meteor effect. Oh, good fight, Feather. That was good. I really like that one.
I told you, Nate, it's it's a lot of getting back into the rhythm of things. I haven't played it for a long time. And uh, Ja, I'm, in, I'm impressed that uh, you as well are able to get through most of the games that you have picked up. I'm really bad at it. Spicy Nose is the quote of 2019. I'm glad I can provide. Ugh. Oh. But that's what, like, how else would you explain that sensation? It's spicy nose. I need to switch characters. Oh no, I guess other people might want to play my Zelda. I'll stay Zelda. My bad! Alright, Ja. Oh! Ja, you pick really good colors for characters. Really good color palettes. That's also my favorite Rosalina one. That or the gold one, because it's super shiny, and I really like that. Rosalina would be someone I would like to practice as well. Not as much as Palutena. Palutena first. Um, but Rosalina, with her Luma fighting style, is fun and unique. It's so a random fact about uh, Final Destination. Uh, back in Melee, uh, it used to have those uh, those fights that had uh, fun rules and stipulations, kind of like what they're doing with the spirit boards now. Um, and I don't know if anyone remembers, but one of the last fights is with Giga Bowser. Uh, that version of the Final uh, Destination theme is my absolute favorite and it's literally because there is a really loud snare drum with the snare uh turned off so it's just a loud banging sound in the background and that is my favorite thing about it and so whenever uh i play final destination that is like the top song that's playing because i just love that that version of the theme all right Juggle time. Right there. Bang, bang. Nope. Look, I didn't mess up my recovery! I did what I intended to do! Heart rate's going up, Ja. Heart rate's going up. I can feel it. Yeah. I'm probably gonna get real quiet for this last stock. I apologize in advance. Oh, that's got a little more range than I expected. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Oh, wait, I can recover from that now. <sighs> there was the obscenities. Good, good fight. Thank you, prospects. How do I like the? How do I like the new Zelda? Um, I really do. I really do. Uh, Nate, I like that she has a lot more control on her uh, her up special, her recovery. Um. And we're gonna fight, because I haven't fought you yet. Um, Sonic? I don't think I've ever played you playing Sonic. 
Oh wait, it's Zach. I'm sorry. I thought I was playing Nate for a second. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like her. I like her recovery. Um, I love how they changed her armor, her suit armor. Um, I miss my Twilight Princess design because that's my favorite uh, iteration of uh, Princess Zelda. Um, but I think the Link to the Past uh, version they picked is really good because she's really cute. Um, she's just not TP Zelda. Sorry, I'm focusing on going fast. We're wearing co complimentary color palettes, Zach. I appreciate our style. I don't know why I didn't just grab you. I saw the shield. Bye. I do miss, and that's my, that's why one of the reasons I miss TP Zelda's right there is my down taunt, the wave. I liked the bitchy wave better than the, the happy wave. The happy wave is cute and it has a nice giggle, but it's not my bitchy see you later wave I want. <laughs> But the overall feel of the character is a lot closer to what I would want, what I wanted from Zelda always. Um, I like that she's a little less floaty than she was. Um, yeah, she just she feels way better as a fighter, and a lot of the characters feel that way. Uh, I like, I think I like the feel of Smash Five more than I liked the feel of Smash Four. Uh, just the the kind of faster tempo and less float, I guess higher gravity, but it's not, like, the gravity itself doesn't feel higher, um, characters just that floated don't float as much anymore, and I like that, because there were a lot of characters that were just so floaty in Smash 4, and you felt like you were, like, jumping around on the moon or something. That was a big percentage drought for me. Watch the flow of my movements as I demonstrate. Distribute your weight equally Dang between it. both legs. No, get up here! <laughs> Don't patronize me. I demonstrate. No, no, no. I gave you that. Gave myself to you. And there it is. Silver's going to break a TV. I can't afford to break a TV, K West. That was. When I make mistakes, I get very upset with myself. And I don't want people to fix my mistakes for me. I made the mistake. Also, Cassidy, I uh, don't know if you're still watching, but I apologize confusing you with another person. Same with you, Featherlin. Um, thank you for following, Featherlin. Um, all right, I'm gonna fight Nate, because I'm sure he's itching for one. Um, But then I think we should go to four player at some point and play Goofy Smash with lots of items Three, and things blowing up. Two, one, go. Do you miss TP Zelda? I I think I answered enough 
uh, well enough, Nate, in that um, I just miss I miss her design. Uh, but this Zelda's play style is a lot better. I right, I'm gonna pay attention to fighting you now instead of answering a question of yours. <laughs> We have had many a Zelda Link fight, the two of us. Nope, 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 you read me well. Shoot. Yes! Oh, ah, ah, mm. See, I'm in it, guys, I'm in it now. This is, <laughs> this is real, this is real Silver Smashing hours now. Running away from me, you small child. Alright. Alright, alright. Oh. That was good! That was dirty! I liked that! I need to stop going backward. Sidestepping, everybody. Do it more often. Don't be like me. Don't don't roll all the time. That's my that is my biggest area that I want to work on, is I I roll all the time, and it's very easy to counter and see coming, read. Yeah, like that. Do what Nate did there. Oh. Also, don't run into people's shields with an attack. You know it's not going to work. Just grab them. Don't be like me. Be better. There we go. See the rolls? You see them? You see me keep doing them? Ha! Ooh, all right, Nate. Whoop! I forgot. Taunts are forbidden. I told Jaw that he was allowed to taunt as long as it wasn't extensive. And I think. We've been following the rules pretty well. Throw them taunts out. I hate seeing none. <laughs> oh, Rissaru! Hello! Hello! I'm glad you could join us for a little. This is how we talk to each other. It's really bad. That was fun. That was a good match, Nate. All right, uh, what are we at? We're at 122. All right, when I get to an hour and a half of uh, streaming, so another eight minutes or so, we're gonna switch to uh, four player. Just giving you all enough time 
So we'll do a couple more rounds of 1v1. So whenever you two are ready. Um, yeah, and then we'll play some four-player fun. Fun times. Hello, I see you, Uwu. We used to do, there, we got us like go through a day at a convention where we only talk to each other in Uwu. Um, just if for nothing else but to just annoy everyone who's around us. Setsukan. I'm going to, I'm going to lead all the events at Setsukan this weekend in Uwu. It will be awful. To be wooing on stage. Hello. Glowy, glow, glowy to mankind. Yoha. Yeah. Arma, do it as Caboose. You know, I feel like Caboose would be the one to uwu of the crew. I also like the idea of Ness home running giant uh, throwing axes. I like the, the constitution Ness and Lucas have. These little kids coming in and fighting and being okay with all the all the bullshit. It's impressive. That was a good combo. That was cool. Do it again, Risu. Oh, so I know you're focusing, Risuru, but I'm curious if you've uh, gotten the hang of the uh, chain whip recovery with the Castlevania dudes. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. <laughs> Nothing going on in the background explosions. This is silly, but I love Young Link's spot dodge. He just ducks his head. It's, you know, how a kid would dodge. Incoming projectile? What do I do? I gotta away! Nice fight, you two. Ja has established himself as our uh, number one in this lobby. I don't mind giving him that distinction. So yeah, we'll play we'll play one v ones for another five minutes or so. So another fight or two, and then we will move on to four player. I'm also in my I'm in my zone with Zelda now. I apologize for not switching characters. Three, two, one, Good stage. Zach, I'm in. Uh, I'm. I'm curious as to why you haven't. Uh, you haven't used Kirby's neutral B at all today. You haven't. You haven't sucked on the life force of your your foes at all. I thought a whole part of being Kirby was getting to see all the cute little outfits and disguises he has. I mean, that's how I play. Kirby. Gotta get those cute outfits. Because Kirby is secretly a fashionista. For those who did. Yo! Okay, this reminds me. Did any of y'all see the image that leaked? I think it was... I saw it on Twitter. Uh, from a Kirby art book that showed Kirby's skeletal structure and how it's 
the stuff of nightmares. He isn't a fluffy pudgy boy. He's full of bones. He has a skeleton living inside of him right now. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. Alright. Keep adjusting. I'm sitting. Oof, 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 oof. Ah! No! Damn it. Dang it. Darn it! Shoot, 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 shoot! Okay. Kirby, Kirby, what? Just, your range is just a little bit further than I expect each time. All right. And that's, oh, I thought you were going to get me with that. I felt it. Nice, 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 nice. Where are you going? No. Yes! That was the grab! I finally did it right! Shoot, shoot, shoot! Whoa! Whoa! No! No! Zach, I apologize for any mic spiking. <laughs> so Risa said she wanted. Hi, Just Bob. Hello, friend. We're playing Smash now. If you wanted to get in on the lobby, um, you just search for friends. Um. Ready? Oh, you're already in here. Okay. I mean, if people are okay still doing one-on-ones, we'll keep going on one-on-ones. I do want to play some, uh, for, 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 for Smash parties. Yes, good job, Zach. GG, my friend. That was, it was a really good match. I have not played Ken yet. Uh, I played Ryu, obviously, in, uh, Smash 4, but I haven't tried Ken yet. Um, so, after this match, Ja... I'm curious as to how he feels comparatively. If you would enlighten me. I oh! Have they ever hit me? My mic. No! Whenever I see anyone charging this mess up at all, I get really freaked out. Nice. Nice job. Okay, so that has a reverse. Okay. Okay. 
Um, does Ken use more... Does he use more feet? Like, kicks than Ryu does? Or am I just imagining things? I know Ryu does use his feet, but I just meant in general. Touch jaw in a while. Dang it. And that will stay. Shoot. Dang it. I gave that. Yeah, I know you love 1v1. I, I assumed as much. But for those who may not enjoy it as much as you, to be fair, we should do 4v4 at one point or another. I didn't play much Ryu in 4 or here. Is there something he ugly? I don't know. I think he's rugged. Hello, he's Alright, uh, whether I win or lose this one, I'll back out. We'll do a couple. I'm about to crush Liesl or Sheep. Well, I was gonna say, I'm gonna back out because I played the past couple ones, and that's not fair to the other people in the lobby. Um, I just saw that Risaru wanted to play me once. I don't think we, we've done a Zelda Sonic match in a really long time. Uh, usually when we do this match, when Risu plays Sonic, I end up playing Zero Suit, because, uh, I used to kind of, like, soft main her in 4, and it just so happened that that's, like, the two characters that we always played together, like, just match up that way. I think I mainly picked her because the speed matched Sonic's closer than Zelda, who was a lot slower. What I actually really like, and I don't know if I've ever talked with Risu about it, is um, she and I play very similarly, um, and it's kind. I like that. I like playing someone who plays kind of the same way I do and like thinks about things the same way I do. It's fun because it's like reading yourself, like figuring out what you would do in each situation as it's happening. Kind of cool. So I don't play Sonic. running. Ooh, that canceled my attack. Good fight, Risaru. 
<laughs> Nate, are you a Metroid fan by chance? Uh, it's like one of the few series I actually never got into. Um, I like know literally nothing about Metroid. All right, so I'm backing out. Once the uh, game decides to let me back out. I'll let two or three fights go and then we'll switch to free for all. Ready? I've only played the Prime games and I really enjoyed them. Nah, Risaru, it's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if you were here in the very beginning, but I was real rusty too. Three, two, and Nate, you'll have to uh, enlighten me on the story sometime. Sonic Justin, um, can I just say that I'm not surprised in the slightest that you're playing King DDD? You just want to be large and in charge. I get it. Hey, at Silver Sheet, first time tuning in, but I just wanted to say that you're pretty dang good at Smash, man. Well, thank you, Lego my Grego. I appreciate that. I am mediocre at Smash. <laughs> um, I was telling the group here earlier that the only reason I have any skill at all is because my brother is actually uh, in the top 10 Smash players in Pennsylvania, and he's the only one I have regularly played against my entire life. Um, so you learn out of necessity how to... <laughs> I've learned how to play against one kind of person, let's just say. Uh, but you learn how... You know, you learn some things just out of just wanting to survive. Long story short, Ridley is an ass. I mean, I kind of got that. His design's cool, though. Also, looking at chat... It's impressive, and yeah, no, I totally get that. Survival at its finest. Learn to run and hide. You learn how to roll really well. I was telling them again also that, like, rolling is the biggest problem I have because I do it way too much. But it's because I'm just so scared. I, 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 uh... I get nostalgic for the N64 days, back when my little brother and I were on evil, even playing field, because we were both just young kids who were bad at the game, and because that game controls like ass, especially after uh, how much they fine-tuned it over the series' course. Like, if you go back to Smash 64, it is a trip. <laughs> Dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. I live every day by the five tenets of dodgeball. It was actually one of my favorite comedies uh, when I was like in middle school. <laughs> I had really bad sense of humor when I was a kid. Speaking of bad sense of humor and Smash 64, I can tie them together. Um, one of our, one of my little brother and I, one of our favorite memories of 64 is uh, when you do a really, really good recovery, like from being knocked way off the stage and the, the crowd reacts, um, <clears throat> the sound clip that they have, you know, the crowd goes, oh, and if you listen to it, there is one dude in the background who is just way more excited than anybody else. So you hear the, oh, as you make a good recovery. But if you listen closely, underneath it all is one guy just going, oh, and it's really dumb, but we love it. And every time we hear it, we die. We, we crack up. You know me, sheep, large and in charge. I wouldn't want it any other way, Justin. And... <laughs> you got bested by a penguin, Risaru. 
in his defense, he probably had a good weight class or two on you. And Nate, I'm excited to see who your old friend is. I'm also really happy that people are, are seeming to have a really good time. Ready? Ah! I should have guessed, Nate. A lot of smash memories from all this. Three, two, one, go! Show me a move. I need to use the restroom again. So I'll let you all enjoy Nate and Zack. I hate fighting Sonic, oh my lord. Ja, I, I kind of do too. But it's okay, because Udisuru is allowed to play whoever she wants. I've just fought Sonic so many times because of it. But, in her defense, she has also fought lots of Zero Suit Samus and lots of Zelda. Alright, I'm gonna run to the restroom, everyone. Stick stick tight, enjoy the match. I will be right back. Y'all see the Pikachu shirt I'm wearing today? He's adorable and I love him. Feeling a little rusty on the uh, Captain Falcon there, Nate. Let go my Grego, love me some Pink Thunder. I like Breast Cancer Awareness, Captain Falcon, my personally, the white and pink. Alright, I am going to switch the rules now. Can I do that without... Can I do that without breaking everything? I don't think I can. Hmm. Wait, maybe? No, I can't. Okay, um, all right, so that everyone is aware, once this match is over, I'm going to close the lobby for one minute, we're going to switch the rules so it's free for all, um, just look out for Silver Arena again, I'll name it the same thing, um, but just so everyone's on the same page, that... Once Featherland and Nate finish their fight, I'm going to close the lobby, switch it to 4v4, or free-for-all. Items on high, because Featherland requested, and that's the only way I play with items, is on high. Regular stages, they're still going to be random, but regular stages. Um, and then I'll be, you know, we'll get it set up, and it'll be a lot of smashing fun to make a really bad pun. New Detective Pikachu trailer is rumored for Monday. Really? If you see it before I say anything, Prospect, can you link it to me? Because I am cautiously optimistic for Detective Pikachu. Um, I think, like, while Mr. Kirk, Mr. Mime looked really creepy in the, the semi-realism CG, um, I really liked the look of Detective Pikachu, and I don't mind maybe... Hopefully, a little bit of a grittier look at the Pokemon world. 
Um, and I think Ryan Reynolds as, as Detective Pikachu is a really good casting choice. Um, I think he really gives a good show to any role that he has, regardless of his personal investment. Um, and I hope he's personally invest because Pikachu's adorable. There's a new short commercial from Sunday that has Snubble in it. I haven't seen that. I'll have to find it. The real Dead Master Dubstep, welcome. Yes, the room is public. Um, are you and I friends on Switch? That's... Oh no, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, it's not public. It's friends only. I can set up the new lobby that I'm making to be public. Um, so you can find it. Um, once this match is over, I'm closing this lobby here. We're starting a free-for-all. Uh, it will be called Silver Arena. I will make it public, just in case we aren't friends on Switch yet. Um, and that way everyone can find it. And I will, we'll get started there. Hopefully I've announced that enough that no matter the delay, y'all have heard. I'm just gonna message it in the Discord as well. in there back over oops wrong account all right yeah so dead master i will set the next lobby up to be public uh just look for silver arena it'll be free for all we're gonna do four player uh probably three stocks still just to keep things moving uh all items on high you know i guess we'll just do percentage just and it kills as you get, you get. I didn't mean to not spectate this match. I was in the middle of trying to move around options. I apologize. Yo, I'm a piece out to work on stuff and binge some Sonic X, but GG everyone. IRL matches at Setsukon this weekend. We should. If we have time. I hope we have time. <laughs> they have a lot packed on my plate for SetsuCon. A lot of events they need me hosting. But thank you for coming, Risuru. Get back to Alucard. Go finish the the, the uh, vampire boy. I was going to say vampy. He is vampy. All right, we're gonna back out maybe once the lobby loads up. All right, backing out, shut down the arena. All right, so everyone, give me one tick to open a public. All skill levels, public. Four player smash rules. More settings. Max players in the lobby. Eight. Random. Random. Spirits off. Voice chat, sure. Lobby music, good. Your experience, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, can I make sure that the. Edit. Edit. Time to, to items. High. No. High. Good. No, I want to save my changes. 
Yes, I still want to call it five minutes. Rotation. Top two leave. Sure. All right. Silver. Arena. Create. Arena. Alrighty, everyone. Should be open for you to find Dead Master. Just wait a minute for people to join. Since this is a new session, as I like to play. No, you know what? I'm warmed up. We don't need to go back to Lucina because I want to play Isabel. Because Isabel's adorable. In her Gucci sweater. Now I'll wait patiently. I don't see the arena. Hmm. I opened it to public, right? The ID is 70... 86... Y. Oh, let's try that again. 70... 86... Y is the lobby ID. All right, I'm gonna go tell people in Discord. Seventy, eighty-six, Y. I heard someone join. All right, cool. There's four people. I guess we have four, we can... Yeah, all right, Jaws here. Featherland, it should still be open when you find it. Well, I've been here an hour longer than I expected, so night, guys. Good night, K-West, thank you for joining. I'm sorry that it's so late for you. Um, if I ever have more free time, I will try to do spontaneous streams that are outside of my schedule uh, of Tuesday, Friday. Um, and those I can probably have a little more leeway of what time during the day I do. Uh, it just, this time works for me based on school and, and research work and what have you. Ready? Remember this sacrifice. I will. I will. I will pour one out for you. Deadmaster, thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. You guys got me over 20. I'm really happy about that. I hope we can keep growing. Y'all didn't know that Isabelle's Gucci, her, her sweater is Gucci. Look at me making the joke wrong. I'm actually so happy she's in Smash. She's the cutest. There was this fan art I saw on Tumblr back before they got rid of everything. Um, and I messed that up. Uh, before they quarantined their entire site. Um, but it was all the Nintendo princesses. Uh, so Daisy, Peach, Rosalina, um, and Zelda. And they were sitting there with Isabel, and she was sitting in Princess Peach's lap, and they had made her a little princess dress, and and included her because she's now one of the Nintendo princesses. And I felt my heart break in the best possible way. It was so cute. I also really like all the comics of uh, Snake trying to teach Isabel how to be a secret agent, and then he keeps giving up because she's just adorable and he doesn't want to ruin her. 
Or when, when, when the comics where she's like, she is his daughter. That's also really cute. Like the one there, they're sitting in a uh, combat jeep, and the caption is, "My dad taking me to soccer practice." I don't know. Isabel being cute is adorable. Oh, another one that made me cry uh, was someone had took the video clip of uh, the World of Light intro where Snake uh, is hiding in his box and then he gets obliterated by the light. Um, and someone drew a comic underneath that and it showed that the reason he didn't move was he was holding Isabel in his arms. And, and it, it shows him and her sitting in the box and he said, okay, it's time to play hide and seek. So she closes her eyes and puts her hands over her face and then he just hugs her and holds her and then the light takes them and I die. I have very strong feelings for inanimate characters. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. You just murdered a puppy, Justin. I hope you're proud with your decisions. There you go, Ja. I gave you a Pokeball. Enjoy it. Oh. Admission time. I don't know how to play as a ball. I mean, I do, I get the fundamentals, but I don't know the strats. I need to pocket things more, I know that. Also, can we talk about how in this smash, the assist trophies? seem really strong. <laughs> They're like super good. And they last a long time too. I think it's probably because you can damage a lot of them now. But holy moly are they good. Oh! What? Oh! That was just unfair, Dustin. I apologize. Oh, well, I just got comboed. All right, let's see me not be on top of the leaderboard there. <laughs> Thoughts on Joker and or Petey? Um. Ooh, did I? Ooh, I did not do well. <laughs> uh, Lego my Grego. Um, I am super stoked for both. To be real, um, I have always been a huge fan of the Persona series, um, and Five has definitely become my favorite. Uh, it, just the style and finesse of it. The presentation, the tightness of the controls, and everything. It's the best, uh, persona, in my opinion. Um, not able to watch it. Alright, well, while they're smashing, and I didn't get to the spectating line in time, so we'll, we'll chat for a minute. So yeah, I, I really fell in love with Persona 5. I've beaten it three times in a row now. I have two 
trophies left 100% the game. Um, so the fact that Joker was announced as a character blew my mind, for one. I did not see that coming. Um, I'm actually an even bigger fan of the Shin Megami Tensei series, which um, is what Persona is originally from. Persona, The Persona series is a spinoff of the SMT, the Shin Megami Tensei series, uh, which is now a Nintendo exclusive franchise ever since 4 on the 3DS. Um, so the fact that Joker is a character was mind-blowing because I didn't see it coming, but not un unbelievable in the fact that he's from a franchise that is on, that has ties to Nintendo already. Um, so I wasn't like, I can't believe that he's not a million miles away, but I didn't expect him of anybody. Uh, I really like that he is in. I really hope they include Arsene in some way, his persona. Like, I really hope that they're able to incorporate him either as a final smash or even as his smash attacks or something. That'd be really awesome. Um, or some of the other thieves, the other Phantom Thieves. Petey Piranha, uh, I really like because it's really also from kind of from left field. Like, I don't think anyone would have guessed Petey Piranha would be a character. Uh, and seeing the video footage of PD Piranha Play, it looks really goofy, and I like that because if there's something Nintendo has always been really good at, is having really, really colorful characters, um, and I know Sakurai and his team will be able to incorporate him into Smash in a way that makes sense, um, so I'm really, I'm excited to see how he works and plays within the game, so I'm really excited for both, and it, it really excites me to see so much individuality in the in the two DLC characters we've just gotten that I can't wait to see what other kind of surprises are coming from the other group. Um, as Jaws is saying, Camilla would be fun. I think she'd be really fun too. I don't know if they're necessarily going to bring in another FE character. Maybe even, maybe one from the new game? If we ever get info if we get information on three houses soon, because that'd be a great tie-in. Um, ja, King Boo would be really fun too, and uh, Risuru would be right in line with you on that because she loves booze. She loves boo. She loves boo. Um, so she's she's wanted King Boo for forever. Uh, I hope they bring in people we don't expect. I hope they keep bringing in new, like really new, fresh characters. I think I'm most excited for the fact that each character is also coming with music and a stage. Uh, so you're really, you're getting so much content just for an extra fighter versus just the fighter themselves, which is still nice. But, you know, the fact that you're getting five, now six with PD Piranha, new characters, five new stages, all new songs with those stages is super, super, super cool. And, and, and live tweaking of the game system as, as well. Um, the fact that Nintendo is actually going in and changing meta to balance things differently time to time again is super great. Uh, cause it's kind of a necessity, excuse me, uh, I would say for any kind of competitive game in the gaming world right now, uh, just because of how accessible it is to so many people, you have to keep balancing the game so that it doesn't get super stale. Uh, so all of that wrapped together, I'm just really excited for the future of Smash. Corn needs a buff. I don't know, Ja. You seem to be doing pretty well with Korn as was. Now, if you could, pick top three characters that you think would appropriately fit in the ultimate bracket so far. Hmm. Lego McGregor, I appreciate your questions. This is fun. I don't mind thinking about things like this. Um, characters to add. I think Shantae would be really cool. Shantae the genie. 
Um, I think she gets a little shafted from time to time. I think like Nintendo kind of uses her for a lot of marketing stuff and they don't use her user. Um, so Shantae would be really fun. I really would like to see, I had someone else literally just in mind and they escaped me. Oh, wasn't Bayonetta, Shantae, Bayonetta. Oh, uh, a character from ARMS. I understand that Ribbon, uh, Ribbon Guy uh, is a, an assist trophy, but I think they should have an ARMS character as a fighter. I really don't know why they didn't. Um, ARMS is a really solid fighting game, and I I think Nintendo like did that as an experiment, and like it did okay, but not super great. And so they're kind of just letting it live, but not doing much with it, which kind of sucks because a lot of the character designs are really cool. So I would love to see an arms fighter. Um, Twintel, personally, that's my favorite. I love Twintel. But any any arms fighter, for sure. Anyone else? Um, third character. It's biased, but Legend of Zelda is my favorite series. And there's a lot of Zelda fighters. And I really like that they're from a wide breadth of games within the Zelda universe. My favorite is Twilight Princess. It is my favorite game of all time. Give me True Form Midna. I get that Imp Midna is an assist trophy. And I would even take Midna and Wolf Link as a fighter, because that would be really cool and interesting too. But, True Form Midna, Princess Midna, that's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> Arms Fighter would be really cool, actually. Yeah, right? I... Arms would be, of the three that I just said, Arms would be the one that I would want the most. I think they would fit really fit well in Smash. Um, so yeah, those are the top top three characters that I would like to see. Um, how viable... I don't know how likely that is to happen. But we have Castlevania characters in here now. So, anything's possible. Yeah, and, and, and as much as I love True Form Midna... Lego McGrego, uh, Midna and Wolf Link would be a really cool combination. Um, that would be really unique, I think, and would play a lot different than a lot of characters. I would assume, I guess, that they they could set it up to be a little, a little like uh, I'm blanking. Uh, Duck Hunt. Um. But I think even of itself, Duck Hunt and, and Minna and Wolf Link are different enough that you could make pretty unique characters. You wouldn't have to Echo Fighter them, is what I'm saying. Which really isn't much of a thing. Uh, if I can move on. Uh, Echo Fighters, like, they're, you know, they, they really top them up as being like very designated, very obvious, like this is the Echo Fighter of this, and they'll play very similarly. And for the most part, that's true. Um, but I think they really did a good job of even giving each Echo Fighter enough uh, of an individuality uh, that they still feel different. I mean, like, Simon and Richter are pretty pretty much carbon copies of each other, but even so, there are, you know, a number of distinct differences between the two. So I was really happy to see that, or at least how I perceive it, um, just Echo Fighters not being as similar to each other as they could have been. Uh, I did read your comment before turning the screen, Lego McGrego, about Banjo-Kazooie. They would be really fun, too. I uh, have never been a huge 
uh, Banjo Kazooie or like Donkey Kong fan. Like I just, it, they're games that I've never really played. They just don't keep my attention. I can't really explain why. Uh, but for I, I like watching them actually. I really enjoy watching them. I don't get as much enjoyment out of playing. Them. That being said, Banjo and Kazooie are two really cool characters, and they would be really fun to work with as fighters. You know, with all the Kazooie uh, kind of tech that Banjo could have, uh, they would be a really fun addition to the game too. Uh, good luck getting them, though, because they're owned by Rare, which is now owned by Microsoft. Uh, so, you know, that sucks. But, maybe. I wouldn't mind another Pokemon fighter. Uh, I love Pokemon, and with, you know, 800-ish Pokemon available to them... They have a lot to choose from, but I get why you wouldn't have that, especially with the Pokeball item and the fact that there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine or ten Pokemon characters. I'm counting Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard as three. Um, there's a lot of Pokemon fighters, so I get that there's not room for more, but... Pokemon would be fun to see. I'd lo I really, I'm just excited to see what new, maybe new worlds and IPs they'll bring in. Maybe like another special guest that none of us would have guessed. I want to be Big Bowser. Give me Big Bowser. Smash. Ooh. Also, um, I, I will, I will, oh, there's the Rathalos! Like, that's another, there's a good, another good example of, like, a, a special guest that I never saw coming. Uh, the Rathalos from the Monster Hunter universe. Uh, I would not guess in a million years that it would be in a Smash game in any way. I think it's awesome. It's so cool. And the, and the fact that it's an assist trophy is uh, really cool too. Uh, that would be a fun character actually. Not uh, the Rathalos, but like a hunter from Monster Hunter. That would be kind of neat. Give them like one of the really big, like one of the well-known weapons, like the long sword uh, or the great sword, like one of the big, really big honkers. Um, and like you know, each uh, color could be ah uh, hi. Uh, each color could be a different armor set from the series. That would be really neat. like a big coward for the last five seconds. All right, let's see what people said while I was... I missed your list of player hopefuls and ultimate. I'll give them to you really quick, Featherland. Um, Lego my Grego asked for three. I said Shantae, uh, Shantae the Genie, uh, one of the ARMS characters, um, preferably Twintel, and my ultimate would be True Form Midna, Princess Midna, but I would be okay with... Uh, Imp, Minna, and Wolf Link uh, as a character set. I know you did, Ja, but I acted like a huge coward. Alright, so what else did other people say? Alright, Ja, go, yes, go be with your family, please. Um, I'm planning to stream from probably another, at least another 45 minutes, because... Uh, people are, seem to really be enjoying hanging out, so we'll go for a little bit longer. Um, let's see what the other... 
Let's some let's get some Marvel and D DC characters in Smash. That would be cool because the library is really big. Um, I just like to say this is not my internet. I plead the fifth on this one. Uh, Marvel and DC characters would be cool because it gives them a huge library of characters. I think there's a lot of legal tape that you'd have to go through in order to get them. That's how I think about it too. Like I think about a like a character set and I go, oh, that's a cool idea. <laughs> then looking at the inner workings on how companies work and seeing how viable they are, um, I think is really important too, unfortunately. Because it's like, don't, you know, can't get your hopes up sometimes, which is really sad. Yeah, dead bass, dead master. It's it's someone in this in in this match right now, uh, just is having a hard time connecting to the lobby. Oh, there it goes. It fixed itself, hopefully. Um, you know it happens. It sucks, but can't expect every internet to be perfect. Oh, is it? Oh, it's okay, dead master. You were fine when we played last match. Isn't Bomberman owned by Nintendo? That could be interesting. That would be cool. And yes, he is. Um, I would be down for Bomberman. I just want to make sure that everyone. We can enjoy the music at least because Jump Up Superstar is a fantastic song. Ah, bummer! Sorry, guys. It happens. Hopefully, uh, Dead Master, hopefully we can get your internet figured out because it was fine in that last match. I'm trying to think of old N64 games I used to play and their characters. Hmm. Give me Wave Race. Give me a Wave Racer. Give me a guy on a jet ski. Or 1080 snowboarding. Give me some sport guy. Alright, this looks... Looks a little better. Glover 64. I can't say I have Lego my Grego. Um, is it Glover, like, the glove character Glover? Is there a game? And I'm glad you enjoyed Wave Racer. Well, I'm willing to keep trying, Dead Master. Um, hopefully, it, it sorts itself out for long enough for a match. Because I hate to disinclude people. It's the one, the one. I'm gonna get real with Nintendo for a second. Um. I am a Nintendo fanboy. I always will be. I grew up on Nintendo. Uh, you know, my dad had an NES. Uh, my first uh, system was the 64. I grew up on the 64. Uh, he got it. He got it for my brother and me for a Christmas gift when I was five. So I grew up on the 64, Game Boy Color. Um, so I will support Nintendo in the day I die because I love their IPs. I love the worlds they've created. But as a company, they need to do a little bit more innovating. Um, 
and they, they've really started to with their games, which is awesome, and opening up game libraries, getting really cool third parties uh, exclusive, like Bayonetta from Platinum Games. But in terms of, like, their systems, like, there shouldn't be this much lag in an online game in this day and age, unless the person you're playing with is, like, got dialogue, you know? It, I understand the Switch isn't the most powerful system because they made it a handheld, which is super cool! But you gotta get your internet up and working, Nintendo. I'm paying for it. Not paying a lot, mind you. I am not paying as much for my Nintendo internet as I am for PlayStation, that is for sure. But, I know PlayStations will work. <laughs> That's my thoughts on Nintendo. Uh, Criddle, hello, welcome, I'm glad you could join for a little bit, it's been fun, we've been just having a good time hanging out, um, we are doing 1v1s for a while, and then people wanted to do some chaos smash as you are being lifted up to your death, um, but I'm glad you could join. Yeah, there is. Glover64 starred a white glove named Glover who controlled a magic ball that turned into different spherical shapes depending on the puzzle needed solving. That would be cool. Like him or like, um, uh, the Katamari Kid? Is that the name of the character? From, like, the Katamari games? Uh, who rolls around the ball full of junk? Like, that would be a fun kind of idea, too. I think you play a lot with a character that uses uh, something like that. I do really hope, for characters, since I'm still talking about it, I do really hope that uh, one of the DLC characters is from maybe a series or a game that's like coming out but isn't out yet, like the, one of the Fire Emblem, like one of a character from the new Fire Emblem game. Um, or Shin Megami Tensei Five, if they ever actually finish that, like that'd be really cool to have a character maybe, like, even come out into the game before their actual game comes out, just to, like, wet your whistle a little bit. That'd be fun. Bouncy ball, a bowling ball, crystal ball, and some others, too. But yeah, I like that concept of spher spherical weaponized fighting. Yeah, that would be fun. I think they could do a lot with it. Uh, Lego my Grego. Contrary to popular belief, or popular vote, I guess. I don't want, like, Goku. Um, I don't think we need Goku in Smash or anything like that. It does make me want to pick up Fighters again, though, because uh, Dragon Ball Fighters is a really, really, really solid fighting game. Uh... So maybe I'll do that sometime soon. I really like fighting games. I'm not the best at them. I'm I'm very average. Uh, most of them I know how to play like competently, uh, but I don't put enough time into any one game to be amazing at them. But I really like fighters. Uh, so like Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, I'll definitely probably stream Soul Cal 6 at some point, because Soul Cal, Soul Calibur was my, like, first franchise that I got into, and I really like the new game, and 2B is in it, so I'll do a cosplay stream where I play 2B as 2B and get my butt handed to me. That'd be fun. Um, Skullgirls is a great fighting game. It's so deep, and I'm, I should give it time because it's worthy of it. 
and the presentation of it's super good. Played. I have not actually experienced one of the new sudden deaths. 2B versus 2B. Blindfold match up. 1v1 me. Deadmaster. Is that a call out? Are we going to do it? I'll do it. That will totally happen. I should just do random, like, mouth yark. It's okay, I'll be Bowser again. My big boy Bowser. Anyone in chat Dow? Who just joined our lobby? Or is that a rando? Do we have a rando? Speak up or forever hold your peace. Yeah, see, Deadmaster, I don't know if it was your internet. Those things are pretty good now. The only thing I can think of is because I'm in the lobby and I'm hosting it? But that shouldn't matter. I mean, should, but it seems they use all individual servers for connections. Oh, I have a gun. When did I get a gun? I'm a beefy Bowser face. Back! Big beefy Bowser butt! My BBBB! Guile! Hello, Guile! If y'all haven't seen yet, or figured it out yet. I'm an opportunistic free-for-all fighter. I will go where the percentages are high. Sorry, I'm paying attention. I don't want this bomb. I want to be big Bowser! Bigger Bowser! The folly. Huh? 
Come on. That's a matter gross. Here, you know, we have Inkling, and we don't need another Splatoon character just because it would be. A lot of this, I mean, I don't know how different you could make them, but I would also be okay with, like, Marina. She would be a fun addition. Starfy. He just got destroyed by that other sister of his. Oops. I fell for the fake smash ball. Like an idiot. I'm blaming to Nintendo for player online in this is just a bit janky still. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. And like, a lot of other systems know how to do multiple multiplayers. Like, four players is not a ton of people. Hey, Silver, I'm out of here. Great tuning in, and I look forward to the next one. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you, Lego My Grego. I hope you have an enjoyable rest of your evening as well. It's been fun chatting. Um, feel free to ask me questions during any of my streams. Uh, it's fun to just chat about, you know, stuff I like and know about. Um, I am planning to keep streams going Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, it works best with my schedule. Uh, Fridays will be dedicated right now to Octopath Traveler. Uh, Tuesdays will be kind of whatever I happen to be feeling like in the in the moment. So like tonight with Smash Night. Um, I will say that this upcoming Friday, I will not be streaming though because I am flying across the country for a convention for the weekend. Um, but once we get back from that, Tuesdays, Fridays. Um, and I hope to see you again. Have a good evening. And I'm gonna say, because no one claimed Dao is not someone from this group. Sorry everyone, I was checking things on my desktop, making sure things were still running smoothly. How did we get the same stage? That's funny. I wonder what the chances are of that. There's, what, I want to say 72 stages right now or something crazy like that? It's 
So I wonder what the chances are of getting the same one. That's okay, Deadmaster. I understand. Thank you for coming and joining for a little bit, though. We'll try to do more community nights. I'd love to do a Mario Kart one sometime. I think that would be a lot of fun. But enjoy Breath of the Wild, because that's a great game. And you do owe me a 1v1 2B fight in Soul Calibur 6. That is happening, Deadmaster. Mario Kart is better for you? Perfect. We'll plan a Mario Kart sometime. I don't know how to set I don't know if I can set up lobbies very easily. I would have to do my research. That'd be fun to stream though. I really like Mario Kart. I probably will uh, close everything out in the next 20 minutes or so though, everybody. Um, just because it will be about three hours and I still need to eat dinner. And I have to read a research article for tomorrow. So. Were you two talking about the Switch per chance prospect? Were you talking about the new video game system you're gonna buy, Prospect? Yeah, Nate, I told myself I was gonna cook tonight, uh, cause I have stuff that's gonna go bad if I don't, but man, do I wanna just order food because I have been sitting here for a while. The game, Jamie, I didn't see that ping. Thank you for the follow. If you're still here, thank you. I appreciate it. I really appreciate literally every single person that decides to come listen to my ranting of nothing. Um, it's really fun. And I appreciate that people are willing to put up with me. Oh, you're doing the whole meal prep thing. I should do that, I really should. I keep telling myself I wanna focus on getting back into a little bit better shape. But then pizza. You took me from my space war. Prospect, is she there now? I can talk to her now through the wonders of the internet. Just. Tell her to go on to Twitch as I creepily turn to the camera and and call her out directly. I've been doing the whole bulk and cut cycle and it's exhausting. Is that where you just eat a ton of food like for a couple days and then you cut way, way, way back? like 4,300 calories and gained almost 30 pounds in four months. Oh boy! So you're bulking up and now you're at like the cut phase, I guess. Ah. So is the idea that you go like above your target and then like work out to get down to your target so that you're like fit at the target? Is that kind of the thinking? Justin, I like your strategy. It worked. 
Yeah, basically. Woo! That would be exhausting, because, like, I can see your body getting super used to that, like, much higher caloric intake, and then just all of a sudden going, no, that's fine, we're gonna stop that. That's gotta be rough. <laughs> oh, and you started growing a beard. Cool. I still can't grow one. So things haven't changed that much since college, Nate. <laughs> I do get more hair. I do get hairier. Doesn't really amount to anything. But that's fine with me. I hate facial hair. My facial hair. I should say. We have a very broken relationship. Irritates my face something fierce. Come on, Justin, show him who the sudden death king is. I won't say anything. Good job, Dow. Whoever you are. Not <laughs> me, spoiler. Mondo, we have another rando. I forgot to change random character to random character. So I'll be Bowser again. It's okay, I like Bowser. Uh, Featherland, if you have any suge suge suggestion on good shaving stuff, hit me up. Because my skin is sensitive as fuck. And everything I try, even stuff made for sensitive skin, just still irritates it. I get ingrown hairs really easily because my hair's curly. Uh... So, you know, drop me some names to look out for. Ready? Dark Samus looks so badass. I agree, Nate. I agree. My brother actually is maining Dark Samus right now. Right, Deadmaster? That's the, like, my biggest problem. Is that It's so ingrown and my skin just erupts and gets red and achy and it's awful. Go! I want items. Give me my items. That's what I want. That's why I'm here. No, Nate, go away. That's my chaos control to get consumed by. There we go. This is a cute level. I really like Paper Mario. I need to play, I need to try stickers, not sticker stuff. Uh, Color Spies, one for Wii U. Uh, Cause I heard it actually was okay, unlike the last three of the Paper Mario games. First two are, well, first three are good. First two are amazing. Number three is okay. Four is where it starts going downhill. Uh, sticker Star. We don't talk about. But Mario, Paper Mario, and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door are top notch titles. Oh, I died. Oh, 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 oh! Be a little ironic if Bowser was killed by his own castle. Oh, 
next week on I Should Be Dead. I'm still not dead! Oh, Nate! I'm taunting you for that one. It's okay, I deserve it. That's what I was trying to do, Meowth I was trying to be the grab. I don't want that one. I want that one. To do nothing with. It's <laughs> mess up accordingly. Uh oh. Firing squad. That's pretty intense. Mistakes were made, Nate. Mistakes were made. Ooh, volleyed. Mondo is out for blood. Too bad I soaked it all. I win. Pokeball. That's mine. No! Pokeball! No! I want... I want that one! And I threw it off the stage! Uh, can't... I am the keeper of nice things from myself. Did it get me? It got me. But I got him. the Bowser yo sheep I'm heading out have a good night you too Justin thank you for coming in Google magic shave I believe it listen okay Featherland I'm gonna get real for a second real quick dead master I'm glad you agree with me um I do have sticker star I've never opened it uh Featherland I have used magic shave it's actually what I used um back uh, a couple weeks ago when I needed to get rid of a lot of hair fast for Bayonetta. Not Bayonetta, <laughs> 2B, when I wore 2B. Um, I really liked it. My skin was even sensitive to that and I got a couple chemical burns um, pretty fast. And like I've done, I've gotten burns like that before so I know how to deal with them. Uh, but it's definitely not something I'm gonna keep using uh, unless I like, don't maintain the area and I need to get a lot rid of a lot of hair fast then I'll use magic shave again especially because uh it's really cheap but I'm talking more um like just everyday maintenance shaving uh I need better suggestions for um I actually I used to use a vino uh sensitive skin uh shaving cream and it didn't really do much so I switched to Gillette, actually. Gillette's like foamy stuff. It looks it looks like Barbasol, like old school bottle and everything. And it's better, uh, but still pretty um, irritated uh, pretty often. So, I don't know. I've kind of like accepted my lot in life. But... I'm watching Bayonetta kick my butt.
I have not done much this match. I've been too busy talking about facial hair. Oh, now I need food. Now I'm thinking about food. See, like, I was talking about how I should cook and want to cook, but there's a red robin that delivers to me, and man, I could do a burger tonight and onion rings, and it would be delicious. After all this super hard work and everything that I've been doing the past three hours, I think I deserve a burger. Curry. Kind of cleaning up house here, Feather One. I've been seeing those kills. I've been seeing those numbers rack up. Excuse you, rude prom. Rude. My tan son! Alolan Raiju, he's my tan son! I love him. He's a little surfer. I don't think I'm winning this one, folks. My Bowser game has not been in it. Yeah, I think I, I think I've decided. I think I'm doing it. Burgers happen. But now I have to decide which one. Too many decisions. Scarf that all down while I am thinking about food. Oh! Now, auto scrollers are a fun idea for a stage. Idea being the operative word. Burning Love Burger. Ooh, that's a mm, that's a good that's a that's a strong contender there, Criddle. Honestly, I shave every day and skin cream every day because your skin gets dry. Even if I shave every day, it get does get those ugly red bumps. I honestly. Uh, Deadmaster, I probably could do better at that. Uh, like, cr like moisturizing. Alright, I'm gonna say this is gonna be the last match. I'm gonna step out. I'll spectate. Y'all have a good fight. Oh, unless Mondo left!
In which case, we'll do one more and I will change my fighter. Alright everybody, this will be our last fight for the evening. Because this sheep needs to eat food. Hint, hint, I'm playing Ganondorf. Ready? Cool. I like this set. Well, Nate, I'm glad you made bad decisions with all of us. All right, kiddos. Final smash. Three, two, one, go! Again with the same stage. Yes. So much for random. Who upset it didn't pick us out of the stage? The game should have sensed what we were going for here. Y'all have, uh, like, very specific ways that you sit when you're playing certain games. Because I sure do. Oh, come on. Come on, game. Pull together for the last match. But yeah, like, there's a specific way that I sit when I play Overwatch. There's just specific way that I sit when I play Smash. There's a specific way that I sit when I'm playing like Soul Calibur, Monster Hunter. Picture framed by the fatal frames. Ooh. Corner again. Hello, Nate. I am you, but slower. And with a sword. Oh, this is new. Oh, and I killed myself. I'll take a Rathalos, that's fine too. Ooh, hello, Featherland. Oh no, you recovered! I wanted to punch you in the face. 
Oh, hi, Mimi Q. Oh, well, yep, yep. Instant death. I kind of like that mechanic that they added. The instant death for certain attacks, depending on your percentage. I think it's kind of neat. There's, you get smashed so hard it fall into oblivion. That's kind of that's kind of an interesting concept. I also like the new effect on this the hammers, the old school pixel effect. It's neat. I like a lot of the changes they made. One more Ganon smash punch before the end of the the match. Well, before I get projected out first. Or I won't do a whole lot of anything in the last minute. Can't believe you took that from me, Zelda! Five, four, three, oh, I walked into it. One, yes! <laughs> oh, saved by the time. Alright, Jaw, if you're back, I will step out and I will let you play uh, one final match. Because you were gone for a little while. So we'll have one final smash. Uh, so Ja can join in. I'm gonna go to spectate. So now y'all can uh, nuke it out. Last match, you guys gotta pick the right characters. Pick your best characters, pick your favorite characters. Nate, what are you doing? Y'all need to make up your minds. I think Jaws being Corrin. I like this composition. Three swordsmen and Daisy. I feel like this is in character though for her. She'd walk into a fight where everyone is like following some sort of theme or code or something. And she'd be like, nah, bitch. Like, Birdo would be a fun character for Smash. She could be like Yoshi, but with uh, a couple more projectile moves.
You know, I'm kind of feeling like this is the last fight, right? And the song that's playing has the feel of like like a, a jolly like closing credit, like like end of a play where where the band is just vamping on the same kind of theme while everyone's doing these like final thank yous and everything. So I wanna start closing things up in in spirit of that. Um so thank you everyone who came to the stream tonight, those who are still here and those who left uh, before. Uh, this was the most viewers I had throughout a stream. I think we were up to 15-ish viewers at one point, which is super cool. Um, and a ton of people joining us and following. That's super awesome. So thank you everyone who decided to follow me today. I am now at 26 followers, which is super, super neat. It's really... Um, Exciting just to see that number grow little by little each time. Um, this Smash Night's been a lot of fun. I had a little, a couple technological things that I had to work out just because I don't know how to do things sometimes. But I think we got it working and uh, I hope people enjoyed one-on-ones and the free-for-alls. Uh, I know a good one-on-one -on -one is great. Uh, I enjoy good one-on-ones, but I also understand that it can be a little infuriating sometimes uh, when you just can't get by that one person. Um, but thanks for being good sports. I hope you guys had fun with that. Uh, the free-for-all was goofy uh, and it's always a good time. Uh, my tip is to just play a big beefy character for those and just sop up those kills with those really strong smash attacks. That's how I run free for all. Um, as I mentioned, probably close to an hour ago now, uh, my plan is to stream Tuesdays and Fridays every week. Uh, right now, Fridays will be dedicated to Octopath Traveler, the RPG on the Switch, because um, it's a really beautiful game, and I really like it. I really like playing RPGs, and I want to introduce it to more people. So Fridays will be Octopath Traveler, at least for a while, uh, and then Tuesdays will be kind of the grab bag variety day, uh, you know, maybe more multiplayer nights like this, uh, different, maybe different RPGs that I have, I have a number that I would like to show people, um, definitely games that come out that I want to play, like Devil May Cry, Catherine, stuff like that, that will be on Tuesdays, um, so yeah, Tuesdays and Fridays, I will try to keep it consistently around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, to be the most convenient for the most people. It's a little early in the afternoon for me because uh, I'm mountain time right now, so it's on 5. Um, and I know it's still like really late at night or middle of the day for a couple of you other people, but... Like I mentioned even earlier in the stream, if I have a, a spontaneous day that I'll stream, um, I'll try to find days where I'm free at maybe uh, a time that would be more convenient for those across the pond. Uh, I will update all of my social medias when I stream, even on scheduled days, just to clarify that I'm still starting at the same time, if I have to be a different time for whatever reason. Uh, you can find me on not only Twitch, you can find me, you know, I am most active on Instagram. I think most of you know me from there anyway. Uh, Facebook. Twitter. Twitter's fun. I've just been getting into t Twitter. Uh, and I did just create a YouTube channel um, that will mainly just archive past streams because uh, I don't have Twitch Prime because it's another thing I have to pay for. Um, so Twitch only keeps my past streams for two weeks before deleting them. So I'll archive them after every stream night onto YouTube so that they're there in case you want to watch them again or you can't see them and you want to catch up. Um, I think it'll be really nice to have those for more of the story-driven games. So you can find me there too. All Silver Sheep. Um, most places it's Sheep SH33P. Um, I think Facebook's the only place that I have it spelled out. Show Silver Sheep cosplay all of just letters. But this has been a lot of fun. 
So thank you everyone who joined me this evening. Thank you to those who are finishing up their fight now. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna order that burger. And uh, after next week, I should have my cosplay stuff with me. I left it back home because of the convention coming up. But I should have some of my cosplay stuff back here uh, in my apartment. Um, and I do plan to start doing some cosplay streams. Probably won't be the regular because it's a lot of extra work that I had to put into an already kind of tight schedule. Because uh, makeup takes a long time. But definitely once in a while. I will throw on the cosplays because that's fun. With that said, and that match finished, thank you everyone for... Thank you everyone- No! You- Shutting down the arena! It's ending! Thank you everyone for coming and hanging out and having a good time. I'm glad people enjoyed smashing this evening. Let's see all the unlocks that I got because we played a lot of smash. Got some gold, got some spirit points, got some more spirit points. That's an adorable picture. They're about to get destroyed. All right. Everyone have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining me. I'm probably gonna move on to watch another streamer who is streaming right now. Um, Angry as Pat, because he's so much fun. I'm glad I got to catch a stream. I'm really glad you could join us, Nate. I hope you had fun. I had fun playing with you, dude. It was great to get back to playing Smash. I know we've missed each other numerous times uh, with schedules and everything, but it's good to get back in the groove a little bit. We'll probably do some more Smash nights because this was a good time. Got to make sure that everyone on the Discord gets thanked too. I'll do that as I close up for the evening. But that being said, Good night, everybody. Thank you for coming to my stream Tuesdays and Fridays, except this f upcoming Friday. Thank you for coming, Ja. And I will be back another time soon. Good night, everybody.